I've been making stick chairs for more than 20 years now. And early on in the process, I made my uh, long sticks and my short sticks with this Ray Isles rounding plane. And for some reason, I got away from that. I don't know why, I, I, I kind of forgot about it. And uh, recently I've revisited this tool and uh, picked up a couple more and have uh, found that it's a very inexpensive solution for making short sticks and long sticks and tenons. So I'd like to show you how to set the tool up and how to use it to make all the sticks for a stick chair for about $70. So it's basically a giant pencil sharpener. And so uh, we put a, an octagonal three and quarter inch stick uh, in here and you turn it and it shaves this uh, into, into a stick. Um, there's a little bit more to it than that. Uh, one thing is that this has to be sharpened. And so after you use it, uh, make a few chairs, you're gonna need to resharpen it. So as soon as you get the tool, you need to run a stick through and then cut this off and save it. So that after you sharpen it, you can put it back in the tool and you can reset the blade so it's uh, cutting right on the end of the stick there. So save this stick and you'll be good. Uh, the second thing you need to do is you need to keep a candle on hand and uh, so after a few sticks, I might go in here and I'm turning it backwards just to lubricate uh, the wood and a little bit of the blade there. And uh, that will keep it from squeaking and also uh, make the stick move through uh, much nicer. So I'm gonna put this in the vise and then I'm gonna talk to you about one other kind of brainwave I had that made this process even easier. So I was using this bot completely by hand, you know, rotating it around. And that works, works great, but it's slow. And if you're doing a chair with 14 sticks, uh, your wrist is going to hurt. And so uh, when Veritas came out with its uh, dowel maker, they showed this driving their sticks, uh, that were turning them into dowels. And it's just a socket, you know, you can get one, this one is a four-sided, you can get an eight-sided, a 32-sided, whatever. And then there's a little adapter that you can get that'll allow you to chuck uh, the adapter into the drill and then pop a socket on. So this is what drives the, uh, the, the stick. So here we have an octagonal stick, uh, cut this on the bandsaw, and this will just fit, slide in there nicely. And now I can uh, step back, put this into the, uh, the mouth of the rounding plane and get started. So the drill is at a medium speed, the clutch is off. And the most important thing uh, to remember is you don't want to jam it forward before you cut. You want to get it uh, cutting first before you advance. Uh, if you jam it forward uh, before you cut, it'll just stall. So uh, you have to take a light touch at first. So that's where my long stick stops. So I'm gonna pull it out here and we'll see what we have. Really nice surface, just a few ripples to clean up with a handsaw. And so this is what's gonna go into the comb up here. And um, down here, uh, this is going to be sort of the swelling below the arm. And now we're gonna put the tenon on the end. So I do this uh, with the same tool, but I put this in the vise and turn the rounding plane by hand. And voila, we have a long stick that's pretty much 99% done. All I have to do now is shave down this, uh, this swol swollen area so that it, it's uh, just a nice smooth uh, kind of intasis and uh, then on to the next stick. So if you have been struggling with how to make long sticks and short sticks even, uh, this one tool can be you know, uh, a really good budget alternative. Made in the UK by Ray Isles, uh, third generation tool maker, uh, great tool, can't recommend it enough, hashtag never sponsored and all that crap. Thank mm -hmm. you.